YouTube, what is going on? Chris Vigiano's Comics and Pop Culture. All right, guys, by request, I'm doing a video today <laughs> talking about how I tape the bags over the board of my books. All right, so I'm going to explain a couple a uh, couple ways, but I had this uh, question in the comments on a past video, and I said, you know what? It seems so simple, but yet it's not. It's something that, you know, a lot of people still do differently. And, uh, you know, even I myself have a couple ways of doing it. And, and hey, why not address this? So uh, taping uh, the, the bags of your books is something to me that is very, very important. So let's get into this, guys. And for the first uh, part, I am going to say that I do have some scotch tape here. And I do have some painter's tape here. And we're going to get into both of those in a quick minute but guys for me in terms of tape on the back of the bags of my books i have a pet peeve and i'll tell you what it is it's this you see this you guys see this nastiness look at that how about this look at that look at that here's another one look at that you guys see that? Another one here. Even Mylar. Even Mylar. See, right, right there. You see that? Okay. This is a trend here. And what is that trend, you ask? It's the single piece of tape in the middle of the book on all of these. And what happens with the single piece of tape? This happens. And why that happens is mainly because when you are, if you have a box of books, right, and you're, um, you know, pulling the books out, putting it back in, if you're not careful, these are exposed to flipping and catching and all that. And I'll tell you, that's my biggest, biggest pet peeve. I mean, this one's a mess. It got so bad. Look, it's like wrinkling up into the front because it got pull so much probably going in coming out whatever uh so i cannot stand the one piece of tape on the back okay so my first tip when it comes to taping the backs of bags and boards no <laughs> look i've been around doing this for over 30 years and i will tell you the one piece of tape in the middle of the bag on the back is the most popular way that people do it. Comic book stores, um, you know, collectors, eBay sellers. I can't stand it. So, you know, one one uh, uh, way that I do not do it. Okay. Uh, so so let me show you guys what I do do uh, to avoid this. Okay. So we're gonna get a book here. We're gonna get this Superman book. And we are going to put it in a regular standard poly bag, okay? So I'm going to grab a poly bag. Regular BCW poly bag there. I'm going to grab one of my BCW boards. If you guys haven't seen my BCW storage box video that I posted a few days ago, go check that out. I talk about all different boxes available. And uh, some of my viewers just really got me going on trying out those uh, plastic bins. And they are pretty amazing. So, all right, guys. We have a backing board in a bag. In this bag, the flap is beautiful. It's brand new. We're going to put the book in the bag. All right. Okay. Now. What I'm not going to do <laughs> is put the one piece of tape, but we are going to use some scotch tape. Now, guys, I do still use scotch tape, but I'm going to tell you why painter's tape is the, is the best option in a quick minute here. Now, I mean, painter's tape can get expensive, you know, compared to the scotch tape. I mean, you can buy a pack of uh, three scotch tapes for like a couple bucks, or you can get a, a, a couple... Uh, three pack or something at the dollar store for you know a, a cheaper kind but it, it's more affordable go with scotch tape and uh for you know random books i i'm actually 
especially for anything in a poly bag. Anything in a poly bag, I still use scotch tape. And I use a really small piece. This piece isn't really, I mean, it's about the width of my finger, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this up a little bit so you guys can see. I'm gonna flip this over, right? And just depending on the bag, you know, poly bags, and depending on the size of the board, they're gonna fit around the board uniquely. Sometimes there's gonna be, uh, if you guys can see this, a little bit of a bump, uh, like a bubble, okay? Sometimes it's gonna be perfectly smooth. It just really depends. And you know, uh, the plastic, the poly, uh, when these are being processed, sometimes they're a little warped differently, meaning uh, they're not uh, perfectly the same exact size sometimes, they will be a little looser on a board. Sometimes they'll be a little tighter on the board. But right now, so right now I'm getting a little bit of a loose bubble right here. I'm gonna try to so smooth that out as possible. I put my thumb down on the uh, flap of the board. I take that little piece and I put it there while my thumb is tight, okay? I don't put it all the way on the end. I leave about an inch. So I go about an inch in and there's my piece of tape. Then I'm gonna get another piece of tape, same size. I'm gonna smooth this out the best that I can. Hold my thumb about an inch in. Make sure I'm pulling down. And there you go. I have two small pieces of tape on each side of my book. And then I'll put the book down like this and I'll kind of gently, cause you know, there's some air that gets trapped in. I'll kind of let that air out by doing this. There we go. And now it's nice and smooth. Okay. Uh, looks good. And the back, the flap is, is decently tight. Like I said, sometimes you're going to have a little bit of a, of a, uh, you know, space in between the lid and the back of the bag. Uh, ultimately, though, that double tape is going to protect this book from getting these going on here oh uh, and it doesn't matter if there's a board or in in it or not this is bound to happen okay like i said i showed i mean this one has a board in it and look still happens so all right now same with mylar let me show you guys how i do mylar okay we're gonna get this other superman book and we're gonna put this one into mylar grab me a mylar same size uh, BCW board. Get that board in that Mylar bag. Okay. Gonna get this book into the Mylar bag. I like to go down gently and smooth. You guys gotta be careful with Mylar flaps. Sometimes they can get caught on, on the staple or part of the book. Give it a nice little knock down, uh, smooth that out. Okay, what I like to do with uh, Mylar bags, especially key books, I always use painter's tape on key books, okay? But even with Mylar bags, um, one, one good thing about Mylar bags though, that's different than poly, if you use the scotch tape on a Mylar bag, you usually can rip it open or take it off without damaging the bag where a lot of times, uh, the uh, especially if the scotch tape has been on, a poly bag for a very long time and you try to rip it off or take it off especially if you want to take it off to replace it maybe with a uh you know say i had one like this and i didn't want to uh exchange the bag i wanted to keep the bag and i wanted to replace that tape and put a piece here and here it might rip the bag even more trying to take that tape out so it's like not even worth it right but with this the mylar i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a painter's tape so usually what i do is the same thing two tapes on each side, uh, excuse me, two pieces of tape on each side. And again, you don't need to use much. So with this, you know, about an inch, maybe a little more than an inch. Same thing here, get that flap down, get it nice and tight. Uh, there's usually not really any kind of bubble with Mylar. So I'll hold it about here, give it about an inch away from the edge, make it nice and tight, boom. Sometimes I like to go at an angle, that's just me having OCD. <laughs> Let's get another piece of tape here. 
about an inch, a little over an inch. Like I said, sometimes I like to go a little at, a, at an angle there. A little bit of a, of a gap here. Sometimes you might even have to pull one side up. See that? See the painter's tape comes off so smooth. And I might just kind of smooth out the lip again and see oh see now I can I know I can pull this out there we go that's a little better and then again let that extra air out and boom the book looks beautiful when it's on display you don't even know that there's tape there until you uh, uh, look on the back now I don't like especially with scotch tape using uh, one piece of scotch tape along the uh, the back of the uh, lip. But let's go ahead and take, see this is a Mylar bag and I did scotch tape, okay? I'm gonna take these off. I'm gonna see if you can see how well they'll come off of the Mylar so I can get it off of that. But let's see if I can take it off of the, the flap without hurting the Mylar bag. Boom. Look at that. So it was like the tape was pretty much never there. Okay, we're gonna set that little piece of tape aside. Okay, same with this one. Let's try to get this off. There it is, nice and smooth, like the tape was never there. So another thing that you could do with painter's tape, like I said, I don't recommend this with scotch tape. I hate it, um, even though it might uh, prevent the edges of the flaps from bending up and crinkling. Uh, it's just not very practical. But with painter's tape, you could get one long piece that's a few inches long, maybe about four inches here. I like to stick it in the middle and then go to one side, go to the next side. You can do that as well. And you're still, you know, the flaps, I mean, this is, I would have probably put this a little more even, but you don't have much, uh, uh, space for it to flap up although there's a little bit here. I'm a little worried about that But then you know again, it displays well because you don't even know there's tape there um, Yeah, I usually actually I usually do this for books that I send to CGC I do the one long one That's just because it makes it easier for them to not have to you know Rip two off even though painters tape is very easy to come off, but guys at the end of the day This is what I recommend painters tape about an inch piece on each side, you know, about an inch, not even an inch from the edge on your bags. And again, if you do have to use um, scotch tape, I still recommend the two on each side. So that's how I do it, guys. I hope that answered some questions. Let me know what you guys think and let me know what you guys do. Are you, uh, are you an advocate and a fan? of the one piece of tape in the middle? And if so, does this happen to your books or in your bags? And if so, how do you stand it? Because ah! <laughs> it drives me crazy. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. And until next time.